In today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about what Rockstar has planned for the rest of the year in 2018 and also beyond that as well. You know, what they could do for future updates, what's going to occur with GTA 6, and a whole lot more. So let's dive into this today and let's talk about our first question, which, which comes from Clipsify, who says, Do you think that Rockstar will come out with more classic cars? Like the examples, the Osiris Classic, Buffalo Classic, Vaca Classic, or maybe even add modern versions of the classic cars that were in the game. So, yeah, I think there's a lot of vehicles that could have either newer models or older models. Um, you mentioned a lot of supercars right there, uh, like from the Pagasi family. I think same from the Trufade family as well. There's lots of rooms to go up and down, whether they wanted to do more classic vehicles or more uh, modern vehicles. At the end of the day, I just want Rockstar to reintroduce more Benny's cars. Like, Benny's vehicles are so much fun, and I don't know why Rockstar stopped that. Uh, I can't imagine it's because they got negative feedback on Benny's. I mean, it's one of the most popular things they've ever added. So just having new Benny's vehicles would be great. Whether they're old or new, I really don't care. As long as they're fun, reasonably priced, and have great customization, it's something that I don't really care about, and I'm just going to enjoy the vehicle for really what it is. So, yeah, new vehicles, new Benny's cars, that would be awesome. Uh, our next question comes from Alexander, who says, Do you think Rockstar is planning something big now that they don't want Yan to leak any more updates after so many years? So, I talked about this in a video earlier in the week. Uh, that was not Rockstar going after, you know, some of the insiders in the community. That was an example of an insider wanting to give up the ability to leak. He basically said, you know, Rockstar, if you want me to stop, I will. All you have to do is say something, and they did. They actually said, you know, please stop leaking, and that's what's going to be happening. So Rockstar could theoretically be planning something big, and maybe this was a precaution that they, you know, didn't want it to be leaked out or anything like that. I think that's certainly a possibility. Is it likely? I'm not sure. Um, I think Rockstar's big focus right now is on RDR2. But who knows, maybe something massive is going to be coming out in the month of December and we don't know. And again, maybe this is a precaution uh, that they were ultimately taking. So uh, I'm going to remain optimistic, but it's Rockstar, so you really never know. Uh, Chaz says, this is just a theory, but what do you think Rockstar will allow us to have everything we have in Grand Theft Auto Online to be transferred to GTA 6 Online? So basically what Chaz is saying is, well, we have everything we own now in Los Santos and wherever GTA 6 takes place. And I'm going to say that's a negative. I'm going to say no. There's a couple reasons for this. Number one, what's to say that all of the content we have right now in Grand Theft Auto Online will automatically be in GTA 6? I mean, think about all the cars, vehicles, weapons, and clothing. Not all of them are guaranteed to make their way to the next game. Number two, you also have to deal with the struggles of converting things over. You know, Rockstar would have to basically reprogram everything from online into the next GTA game. And that just sounds like it is way too much work. So the fact that the content might not be there and it sounds like it would be pretty difficult for Rockstar to introduce sounds like that's going to be a negative on the front of getting, I guess, content from online to GTA 6. Now, that's not to say that Grand Theft Auto 5 vehicles and clothing might not also be in the next GTA game. We've seen that, of course, with vehicles in the Grand Theft Auto series, but it's no guarantee, and I don't think we're going to be able to transfer our you know, content over. Regan Wheeler says, Do you think the unfinished building next to the Maze Bank Tower could be complete for a use in a future update? Um, I'm going to say no, just because if Rockstar was going to do that, I felt like they would have done that in the After Hours update. Uh, Regan is talking about the Mile High Club, the skyscraper that's really been under construction for about five years now. So I feel like if they were going to introduce it in the game, it would have been the perfect opportunity to do that in After Hours. I think Rockstar is just going to let it stay the same, you know, throughout GTA 5's entire life cycle. It's just going to be an unfinished building. You know, there's a lot of potential there, which is kind of a bummer. But at the same rate, I think Rockstar is just focused on bigger things and uh, not really going to worry about that. Uh, Brent Plays says, with each DLC, Rockstar are constantly adding weaponized vehicles. When GTA 6 comes out, do you think Rockstar will have all these vehicles from the start or restart? So that's an interesting question. He basically says, how is Grand Theft Auto 6 multiplayer going to be? Is it going to be, you know, bare bones? 
like when Grand Theft Auto Online first came out, or is it going to start with bunkers and hangars and stuff like that? I think that's interesting for Rockstar. I think it's going to start as bare bones, and I think that they're going to introduce their own other DLCs into the game. So maybe that is a reason why we haven't seen some of the updates come into Grand Theft Auto Online. Maybe it's because Rockstar truly is saving it for GTA 6, like a naval-based update, a police-based update. You know, maybe they don't want to burn all their good ideas on this multiplayer when they know down the line there's going to be more multiplayer opportunities. So that's something to think about. No, I don't think it's going to have like, you know, the oppressor from day one. I think it is going to be a little bit more down to earth, a little bit more bare bones, kind of like what we saw in the beginning of GTA 5. Napster says, do you think there will be a point where Rockstar stops updates for GTA 5 online completely? Yeah, I think we'll eventually reach that point. I think uh, two things have to happen. Number one, the PS4 and Xbox One have to become obsolete in order for that to happen, like a PS5, Xbox Two have to come out, or Rockstar start to focus on the next GTA game, Grand Theft Auto 6. And because they want people to start focusing on that, they might stop what they're doing for Grand Theft Auto 5. But I think until that point happens, we're going to continually see updates for online as long as people keep playing it and as long as it is profitable for Rockstar. I think those are the two big things there. And then they're going to keep doing that until those other two big things happen. Uh, and until then, we're going to keep getting updates, I'd say. The American Gamer says, do you think Rockstar will add some type of festival music and decorations to the nightclub for the holidays? So that would actually be kind of cool. So we saw Rockstar do this in this December update, or I guess I should say the one that came out in 2017. They added like, you know, new Christmas trees for the facilities. The Avenger and the MOC got decorations. That would be awesome if they did that. It would be so cool if the DJs, instead of playing their normal sets, played Christmas music for like two weeks. That would be so cool. And then obviously adding like the streamers and the decorations uh, in the nightclubs as well. That would be super cool. Only problem with that is we don't really know what's coming out in the month of December. And that might actually require a new update. So there's a lot of variables here. Will Rockstar be doing something in December? Will they only be doing like a, a festival event and not necessarily a new update? So there's a lot of little variables here to, to figure out before we can talk about that. But at the end of the day, it would be amazing if that's what they did. Big Will BC says, Ross, do you think that GTA 6 will be available on current generation consoles? Love from Montana, USA. So that is an interesting question. I think that there's a lot of variables here that will determine if that's going to happen. Uh, number one is how close we are to another console, like the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox 2. I think we're closer to those consoles coming out than we are farther away. So I don't know if it's going to be two years or three years, but I think we're roughly around that time when a new console will be coming out. And then number two, how long it's going to take Rockstar to start getting on to GTA 6. I mean, we obviously know Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out this year. Then what are they going to do next? Do they immediately jump into GTA 6? Or do they jump into another game and then Grand Theft Auto 6? I think that will sort of determine what they do. But I also think Rockstar might worry about, you know, developing a game for an older generation console. You know, Rockstar would sort of benefit from only uh, developing GTA 6 on the next generation console because they could make it that much more stronger, that much more powerful in terms of the engine with new features and whatnot. That's why I feel like GTA 5 was held back a little bit because they did have to develop it for the Xbox 360 and PS3. Now in the long run, I think that helped the sales tremendously of the game, but I think they sacrificed a little bit of gameplay performance at the beginning, which I think they did end up making up for when they got this game onto PS4 and Xbox One. Raven Jackson says, Hey Ross, so news out there says that Take-Two Interactive is picking Xbox only for their future games. So what's going to happen for the future of GTA? So I have personally not heard that news, but this isn't something you know out of the ordinary we've seen from Rockstar. They've worked with consoles in the past to give exclusive content. I think the last time they did that was GTA 4, when like DLCs came out first on Xbox 360. I think right now Rockstar is working lightly with PlayStation 4. It doesn't look as if like there's any confirmed content coming only to PlayStation, but they do like say they make their trailers with a PS4. So that's why I say they're probably lightly partnered with them. Uh, they probably won't do anything major like that in the future, just some minor partnerships. 
Uh, Dakota says, do you think there will be a new Halloween DLC vehicle this year in the Halloween update? Uh, Dakota, I don't think there's going to be a Halloween DLC. Uh, I think it's way too close to the release of Red Dead Redemption 2. I think if Rockstar is going to add a Halloween vehicle this year, if you can see my air quotes, I think it's going to be the hearse, which Rockstar have said they've added to the in-game websites. So since the hearse kind of has that Halloween vibe, that might be the vehicle we get this year, which is a little lame, but at least it's better than nothing. And they'll probably do some bonuses, discounts, and sales to go along with that as well. Marin says, do you think we will get another treasure hunt before RDR2 comes out? Uh, no, we will not get another treasure hunt before RDR2 comes out, but I do think there's a good chance we could get a treasure hunt after RDR2 comes out. I mean, the Take-Two Interactive CEO, Strauss Zelnick, has said how much he loves the fact that Rockstar are sort of cross-promoting these games, and you could always just do more cross-promotion. Maybe they do a treasure hunt in RDR2 for Grand Theft Auto Online. That would be kind of fun. So I think we will get more treasure hunts, but I do not think one is going to be coming out before the October 26th deadline, or I should say the release date of RDR2. And our final question today comes from Crazy, who says, do you think Rockstar will ever have Doomsday Heist Part 2? So I don't know if they will call it like Doomsday Heist Part 2 specifically, but I definitely think there could be a second Doomsday update that features maybe the same characters or the same theme. Uh, I think that'd be awesome. Maybe that's what we see in the month of December. Maybe it's something completely different. Maybe there's no Doomsday Update Part 2. But either way, I think it would be an amazing update because it was a really cool theme uh, that Rockstar released last year. But anyways, that's all the questions that I'm going to be answering in this week's Q&A video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.